The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to update your printer's IP port. The process is important to know for situations when your network printer has been assigned a new IP address. There are many reasons why a printer's IP address has changed, most commonly due to getting a new router or new internet service provider. Whatever the many reasons, this video is to show you what to do next. Before beginning the next steps, it is important to delete any print jobs that are pending on your computer or server. Deleting these jobs first is important to prevent waste once the printer port is updated because the spooled and duplicate jobs will begin to print out. There are several areas across the different versions of Windows where you can update a printer port. However, to keep things simple, we are only going to demonstrate one way that is most similar for everyone. Start out by clicking the Windows key on your keyboard or select the Windows Start icon on the taskbar. Type Control Panel and select it from the list. Select View Devices and Printers. Locate the printer in question. Right click on it and select Printer Properties. Select Ports tab. At this point, if everything is grayed out and you are unable to select anything or if your computer prompts you with the following message, please stop and notify your computer system or network administrator. You will not be able to complete the next steps on your own without them being involved as you do not have the necessary permissions. To get a better view of your ports, you may need to drag the column over to see the entire port name. The one checked represents the old IP address. To update your port, click Add Port, select Standard TCP IP Port, click New Port, the port wizard will open, click Next, enter your printer's IP address in the first cell, click Next. The wizard will now attempt to communicate with your device. If the device could not be found, check to make sure that your printer is both connected to your network and configured with the proper IP. If you still cannot connect, contact your network administrator for help. Once the device is found, click Finish, click Close, scroll to view the entire port to make sure your new IP is checkmarked, click Apply. During this step, please be patient. Even the best systems may display not responding for a brief moment. Once this is finished, you're ready to print. Thanks for watching.